Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am the Butterlord. And this is going to be interesting because I may be jumping into something a little bit more quickly than I should. But I'm very excited to do this. I've been looking forward to this for a while now. We are once again on the original PlayStation. And we are continuing, in a sense, a series we have been doing. We're once again welcomed by good old single track. And you probably already know what this is. We've done Twisted Metal 1. Time for Twisted Metal 2. World Tour. Now. There we go. So yeah. Twisted Metal 2 time, baby. Uh, if you don't know, Twisted Metal 2 plays a lot like a better version of Twisted Metal 1. Now the thing is, this game is a lot harder than Twisted Metal 1. Not a lot, but it's definitely harder. And one of the things is, we can't set the game to easy mode. And I've said it in a few of the Twisted Metal videos, but the reason is because easy mode on this game only goes halfway through the game, then it get, you get a screen calling you a loser, <laughs> basically. And you only get to play through halfway through the game. Which is not what we... That's not what we're here for. Now, this video is similar... Is going to work similarly uh, to the last one. I'm not sure I'm going to do voting for the entirety of the series. But I am going to do it for at least the first video. So this will be a vote... A, a video to vote on. In the comments section, how it's going to work. Uh, there will be a pinned comment. And... I'm... There will be a, reply, a set of replies to that. All the replies are the individual characters. Each vote you place on one of those characters will equivalent... Each like you put on one of those characters equates to one vote. So, whoever get, whichever character gets the highest amount of likes... No, no... There. Whichever character gets the highest likes is who I will start the game as. Now, there are two secret unlockable characters in this game. You have to input a code to get them. But we're not going to do the... But they will be excluded. We will only do them at the very end of the series. They will be the last characters we do. So we might as well go ahead and get into our cast of characters. First off, we got good old Roadkill. Uh, who's back, only he's not driven by Captain Spears, I believe, from the last game. Instead, we have Marcus. I know the truth, you freaks. You sit in your living room with your little video game console and play, 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 but I know what's happening. I can see you. They think I'm crazy, but you'll find out I'm the only one who's sane. His handling is intermediate, his armor is two, special three, and speed three. <coughs> so set, Roadkill functions similarly, sim, similarly to how he did in the first game. Uh, he's more of an intermediate character, but he leans to be more armored than anything else. So, that's... And his special weapon, it doesn't explain in this game, but I will explain all the specials to you. The special we His special weapon's different. Instead of it being a, an iron javelin thing, it's actually a boomerang. So, it'll fire forward, then it'll come back to you. However, if you manage to hit someone with... It does decent damage, but if you hit someone on its return to you, it does a lot more damage. So, that's Marcus. And Roadkill. Next we have Twister, a new, one of the new characters. Twister, driven by Amanda Watts. They say there's a place you can only get to by driving a certain speed. It's a place where time and space explode into another world. That's my goal. I want to find that place. When I win Twist the Mel, Calypso's giving me the roadmap. Handling ultra tight. Armor 1, Special 4, and Speed 5. So... Uh, Twister kind of fills a similar role to, like, Crimson Fury, only her special is kind of insane. She spins around so fast that it creates a tornado that sucks in other characters. However, it's very dangerous for her to actually use this ability, because it can hurt her just as much. Because she is very low on defense. <clears throat> but that is Twister. Next up, we have Axel, the cover boy of the game. Uh... You're already probably noticing that Axel's a built... Axel's built different. <laughs> Axel. Just Axel. 
20 years I've been stuck in this hellish contraption, hiding and waiting for the day I would be brave enough to fight back. If I win, I'm asking for the strength to confront the man who did this to me. I promise you, I won't be a freak forever. His handling is intermediate, his armor is 3, his special is 3, and his speed is 2. Now Axel is probably the best character to start out with in this game, aside from one of the unlock extra characters you can unlock. <clears throat> Axel's stats don't really reflect him very well. He's a lot more powerful than you would think with his, than his stats would lead you to believe. And his special weapon is arguably one of the best in the game. These, the shockwave is literally just a shockwave that will both knock enemies back, but it also does way more damage than you expect it to. It's a very good weapon. So that's Axel. Next we got Mr. Slam. Driven by Simon Whittlebone. A man's dreams are all that he has, and if they try to take mine from me when they fired me from my job as an architect, they crushed my vision, they took my tower. Well, no more. When I win the contest, Simon Whittlebone is fighting back. His handling is sluggish, his armor is four, his special weapon is five, and his speed is one. He's kind of like Darkseid or Hammerhead, uh, except the Hammerhead is in this game. Darkseid didn't come back, but Hammerhead functions kind not him mr slam functions similarly and his special is he literally will pick you up and slam you into the ground so yeah he's pretty strong he's a tough boy next we have shadow driven by mortimer what he took from them what he took from them can never be forgiven or replaced what he have what they have hired me to do is their only hope they they are in the back right now, resting quite peacefully, but I promise they will have their revenge. Ominous. His handling is intermediate. Armor 2, special weapon 4, speed 3. I don't quite... I haven't really... I haven't actually played 2. I've been trying to avoid playing as much as possible, so that way I can give you a more fresh experience. Uh, but So I'm not familiar enough with Shao to determine what exactly his play style is. I'm guessing based on his stats that he's uh, kind of like an outlaw or like a yellow jacket type deal. Uh, maybe a slight glass cannon edge, I'm not sure. Uh, then we have good old Hammerhead returning, but now driven by Mike and Stu. A twist and poem by Mike and Stu. The clouds are the place we want to be. Far, far above where we can see town women's shirts. The end. It's handling, it's Hammerhead, so we're already familiar. If you've seen the previous series, you are, you're already familiar. It's handling is sluggish, it's armor is 3, special 3, and speed 1, because it's a fucking monster truck. He's also got a new paint job, so he's looking a lot sharper. Outlaw 2. By Captain Jamie Roberts, and if you saw the first Outlaw video, you probably understand this. Last year, Calypso banished my brother, sent him spiraling off into who knows where. He broke my heart and disgraced my family. This year, me and the rest of the LAPD got a little surprise for that burnt face freak. Handling intermediate, armor 2, special weapon 3, and speed 4, it's outlaws, and they function similarly to the first game. Then we got Warthog, also returning, but with a new driver. Captain Rogers, little, little pruny guy. They used to call me old Iron Guts, now they just call me old. Well, I may be old, 105 to be exact, but I can still show these punks a thing or two about combat. When I win this contest, I'll fulfill the one mission that has eluded man since the dawn of time. Handling Sluggish, Armor 4, Special Weapon 3, and Speed 2. It's Warthog, and similarly, he's kind of overpowered in this game. And then we have Mr. Grimm coming back and now with a full-on minigun sidecart. You, you live off food, I live off souls. Souls like yours, to be exact. When I win this contest, you and everyone else are gonna be my seven-course meal. You see, when I'm, when I'm taking destruction and doom to a whole new level. Handling tight, armor one, special weapon five, and speed four. So he's, he's like how he was in the first game. Then we have Grasshopper. No more Pit Viper, we have a new Doom Buggy. Driven by Krista Sparks. 
I thought my dad was dead, but I was wrong. When they told me his name, I hit the floor. Could he really be my dad when I win this contest? We're going to have a family reunion he'll never forget for the rest of his life. Which ain't going to be too long. And Link, Tide, Armor 1, Special 2, and Speed 3. Similarly to Pit Viper, uh, Grasshopper sucks, but her story is actually pretty neat. And I do know that much. And I won't give spoilers. Next we have Thumper. With returning character, Bruce, it's him, it's the same guy from the first game. For the last 10 years, I've fought on the streets of LA, fought for my friends, my pride, and my own survival. This year, I'm hanging straight out of South Central and taking on the world. This time, I'm fighting for a hell of a lot more. And Link, Intermediate, Armor 2, Special Weapon 4, and Speed 3, so similarly to how he was in the first game, just maybe a little weaker on the armor side. And then lastly, Spectre. With new, with new blue stripes, driven by Ken, or Ken Masters. I remember back when I was a kid, everyone ignored me. In fact, they still do. That has to change, right? I can't be a loser forever. In fact, I'm gonna get help from Calypso when I win this contest. I know just what to ask him for. And Link, tight. Armor 1, Special Weapon 4, and Speed 4. So similarly, Spectre functions like he did in the first game. And this, everyone? is the cast of Twistamel 2, minus the two secret characters who will be the last people we do. So yeah, remember, go to the comments, there will be a series of characters, vote on who you want to see first, and I'll, I'll tally them up at the end of the week, or two, or depending on how many it takes to get an actually decent quantity of votes, and we'll be starting Twistamel 2, and I'm hyped. I know this is going to be an exercise in pain, but I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you all are too. I've been the Butter Lord. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Happy New Year. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. And let's go Twisted.